Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Sonic the Werehog versus Sonic himself. It's going to be a standoff pose. Uh, very simple, very much for beginners. So if you're a beginner at drawing, stick around for this. You're going to enjoy it. It's going to be step by step all the way through, and it's going to be really short. Really, really short, like seven minutes, maybe less. Let's get started, okay? First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with Sonic on this side, okay? So right here, I'm going to start with uh, kind of a curved line here for kind of uh, kind of his angry angry brow of Sonic here. And I'm, from this side, I'm gonna go and do this gravestone shape that Sonic tends to have for his eye. I'm gonna go over here, curve in. By the way, I want you to do something. Uh, on the top right-hand corner somewhere, I'm gonna put the Sonic playlist. So there's tons and tons of videos on there, Sonic vs. Knuckles, Sonic versus, uh, you know, uh, you know, Knuckles, Super Knuckles, Super Sonic versus, like, you know, uh, Silver. Tons and tons of drawings. Go check that out. Movie versions of Sonic. Uh, check that out. I'm going to put that in the top right description there. It's a total playlist. Really awesome. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to curve around here for the bottom of the mouth. And I'm going to continue to pull up here toward the front of the snout area. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over here and I'm going to pull uh, a nose out. And the nose looks a little bit kind of like to me like a um, kind of like a bottle op uh, bottle cork. Or it also slightly reminds me of like, I don't know, like a sausage or something. He just has that like long nose that's a little bit thicker at the end than it is at the, 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 the you know, where it comes into his face. I'm going to go over here and draw like a U shape. Kind of this circle line here for the eye, but it's going to be on this side because he's going to be staring right at, you know, where Sonic, where Werehog, Sonic the Werehog. Circle here for a highlight. You want to always put that highlight in, kind of some extra detail there. Curve right here for the actual uh, black part of the eye, which is the pupil. Fill that in. I'm going to go right here now, and I'm actually going to curve to the front of the forehead, maybe about like the top part of the eye, not too far, um, and then from here I'm going to actually start the ear, so I'm going to go over here and draw literally just a triangle, very simplistic, oh the top part of a triangle at least, and inside we're going to draw a full triangle, it's going to be that inner ear. I'm going to go back down here to his mouth really quick, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a angled line, like he's got like a temper. I want to make him look a little bit angry. And on the nose here, I'm going to draw maybe a circle here for a highlight, and I'm going to fill in the rest of it uh, totally dark. Alright. I'm going to go over here to his stomach area. And then I'm going to go right here, kind of in the back of his mouth area, and I'm going to start his arm. See that top part of his arm is going to pull down, pull down over here. It's kind of standing to, just totally to his side. Line around here for the wrist. Kind of that, the, that uh, glove of the wrist there. And I might draw a little bit starting of that glove, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to vignette, meaning it's going to slowly fade out, so you don't really need that right here for the color change on the stomach and uh, let's go into the epic spikes right here so oh I'm sorry I forgot the far end ear far end ear go over here and I'm gonna pull a line out in out in another line over here maybe overlapping a bit you can draw one overlapping like this right to give it some depth and one's kind of usually going to pull in right into the head area around that level and then you're going to have a another spike over here kind of like a shark and then you're going to have his tail stick out at the bottom there all right so Sonic, we're good with Sonic. You can always add extra detail, like a little line right here for the brow area. You can always add little stuff like that, but you don't need to. It's not required. That's why I say it's um, just kind of extra for you to do it on your own time. Let's go over the Werehog. 
So, Werehog, he's gonna be standing about the same level. He's supposed to be maybe a little bigger, but I want his face to kind of more or less match. So, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna start with the end of the nose, honestly. And I'm, I'm just mirroring that shape, maybe making it a little bit bigger, but you don't have to do that. Circle right there for the highlight, and I'm gonna fill that in on this side. Cool. Gonna go in here and I'm gonna pull back over here for kind of top of that nose area, or the snout area. Curve underneath on him, pull up. Instead of a circle like we're using here, on this one we're gonna kind of, it's not gonna be a perfect circle per se. It's gonna fold in a little bit. And I'll show you. Curve underneath. And then this is, we're gonna curve it back here and tie it back in here. So right here, like so. Cool, cool. Fang right here. I don't know, like a fang per se, but it's just like a like a large tooth canine. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna start uh, and see how this has like a big open eye, like a gravestone shape. This one I'm gonna pull back at an angle, a little bit more the way Knuckles' eye is, but even more extreme. Curve down. I'm gonna draw the eye here, facing forward a little bit. You're gonna see a little less of it because it's got the, the lid over it and dot over here. Curve for that brow. And then this brow is gonna be a little thicker. All right, a little thicker, a little more going on. Right here, area over the brow, just a bit. And we're gonna draw one ear right now. It's gonna be a little bit pointier. A little bit pointier, see, a little more angular than the other one. Line here, down. Still a triangle, but it's, see that one's in the center right here? And then this one I moved it back a bit, kind of like it's got, it's a little bit turned back. Curve over here. Far end ear. All right. Gonna continue and pull out into the spike area. The spike areas are, they're kind of different. They're, they're a little bit longer. And you could also do this, by the way. See this zigzag? I'm gonna do another one right here. This zigzag thing going on, it makes it look a little bit hairier, a little more frazzled. That's kind of the idea of, of well, you know, him being like a, essentially it's a werewolf, right? Go over here to the arm, and for the arm area, I'm going to pull out. His arm is big. It gets bigger as it goes out. Over here, down. And it's going to go way off because he's taller, but I, I want to make their faces match. By the way, if you like this, do me a huge favor and yourself. Take a, like a split second and hit that like button. It's going to help out so much uh, like in terms of what to put on the channel. Okay, let's go back to this real quick. I'm gonna go right here into the chest area and he's gonna have a little bit of fuzz right here going on. Kinda like Shadow's chest, but not the same. His is a little bit bigger and more spread out. It's more like the center of his chest, really. Pull down here. Okay. Um, and then, uh, what? you could draw one more on the back. Um, you don't really have to, but I think it's a good idea to do that, but you don't have to. A lot of him is he's going to be bigger, and even even on his hand, you could have done the zigzag. Forgive me, I didn't do that on the arm. You could have done it there. Very similar to when you draw the movie version, which that's a whole other video. If you haven't seen my movie Sonic drawing videos, go check those out. Now, and he has a color change on the spikes at the end of it. So right there, one, two, three, Four, and you could maybe draw like one back here to give it some depth. Uh, even one over here if you want. Um, and he's got like a green eye, but I'll, uh, that'll be another time. But there you go, that's Sonic versus Sonic the Werehog. If you this standoff uh, is cool, if you find it cool, if you made it to this point, share the video, sharing is caring, and I want you to make some requests. Who do you want to see in a standoff? I, I did a bunch of these. Go check out that playlist, like I mentioned, there's an entire playlist full of Sonic drawings and there's a lot of standoffs there so let me know what you want and I will do it. 
If you want to help the channel out, like I said, share the video or donate to the channel right there. The PayPal is right there. I work really hard on the channel. And I want to keep doing it. If you want to, you know, want me to keep doing it, absolutely consider donating anything, even if it's like a dollar. Thank you so much. I will see you next time and I'll talk to you soon. All right. And if you want to keep learning how to draw and keep pushing your skills, go right here to this video on here on this side. Um, that video I put because it's the exact same theme as the video you just saw and it kind of I like it as a bit of a pair So absolutely go check that out right now another short video